Welcome back everybody. Hope you're having a great week. My name is Donna and we're here for a 45 minute workout today and it is the best day of the week. It's a light day. Super excited. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six movements. I thought we had seven, but we've got six for sure. <laughs> we're going to start with a goblet squat. I'm sorry. So what you're going to need today are some heavier weights. We are going to get into um, more load on the legs. So get into some heavier weights. Um, comfortable shoes. I'm going to kick these off. I'm going to go barefoot. I've had a pedicure here recently. We're fine. I'm fine. You're fine. We're fine. <laughs> so you'll need heavy weights, uh, uh, something, a chair, a bench, a BOSU ball, because we are going to be doing some split squats. So we're going to line it up, bring that foot back, coming down and up. Bit of a hinge forward. So hey Dan, thanks for joining. So we're going to affect that glute. So make sure you've got a bench, a BOSU ball, a child, I don't know, something you can put your foot on. On. I better foot off the ground. <laughs> uh, if my dog was here, he would uh, he would totally let me. He's upstairs sleeping though. Um, all right, so to get into the workout today, we're going to be doing some goblet squats. So holding that weight nice and close. Oh, perfect. I'm having my water bottle. So holding that weight nice and close to your body, coming down and up, just like that. Then we're going to go into some deadies, just your traditional regular deadlift. So popping the booty out, coming out, and then coming in. We're not thrusting forward. We're keeping that tension on those glutes and those hamstrings as we come back in. Uh, then we're going to do some side lunges. Whew. We're going to hold the weight, kind of a goblet style. We're going to lunge to the side and then step in. Side lunge again. Just something different. Uh, affecting the quad, ham, and the adductors, the insides of those thighs. So we need to hit those. Uh, from there, we're going to go into some calf raises, Dan, your favorite. So just coming up, one, two, three, and down. Go heavier on those if you can. Uh, then we're going to get into our Bulgarian split squat, so I have it on my board as BSS. <laughs> All right. So if I ever say BSS, it's a, it's a Bulgarian split squat. So we're going to use that, that bench or children or animal, whatever you've got, a foot off the ground. We're going to hinge forward, other leg forward, and slightly bent. Grab a chair or a bike or something if you need, and then come down and up. When you come down, that foot forward, you're gonna feel that in that quad. When you're down with that leg back, you're gonna feel that in that glute and the top of that hamstring there. Whew. And then we're gonna hit the floor and finish up with some nice glute bridges. Uh, we're gonna aim for three sets of each movement. If we do have time at the end, uh, we're gonna do some, we'll do some core, maybe. <laughs> so pray for no time at the end. <laughs> All right guys, grab a quick drink, grab your weights. All right, put that up there. Just trying to decide which violence I'm gonna to choose today. Let's, let's screw it, let's go heavy. Woo! It's, uh, I might regret this later on, but we're gonna go heavy while we can. Woo. Oh yeah, there she is. There she is. I'm also going to use my kettlebell. Uh, it's really handy for those uh, calf raises, just holding it in one spot instead of the sides. I guess I'm reducing the load, but... <laughs> uh, so I'll use my kettlebell here. You know, let's load it up. Let's go right full 40. Uh, what else am I going to need? We've got the BOSU ball or the bench. I've also got a bench if we ever needed that. I think we're good. Uh, make sure you got comfortable shoes, you've got enough space around you. Rule number one, no pyramid builders. Dan, you missed a hell of a class on Friday. It was really good. Um, we had about six people there, I want to say, six or seven of us. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. It was full body, so. Um, I'm not at beach again until next Friday, so not this one coming up, the following one. So maybe we'll do legs. We'll see. All right, let's start with a quick warm up. Let me get my stuff out of the way here. We're gonna start with some wall kickbacks, uh, just to warm up. Actually, let's start with, uh, yeah, let's start with wall kickbacks, getting right into it. Um, you can use a resistance band, you cannot use a resistance band. I've got a little bit of a hip issue right now, so I'm gonna skip that. So you're still gonna get a really good workout without that band. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hinge forward the hip, pop that booty out, we're gonna kick up and back, squeeze, and down. So you're going to feel that in the top of those hamstrings, in those glutes. Uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Let's go in five, 
four, three, two, and one. Keep it up and back. May take a sec just to figure out your balance. We're just getting right into it. I'm over warming up, but I know we need to, so this is our warm up. <laughs> Also, warm-ups do prevent injuries, so this is a warm-up. We're gonna be here for whew, almost six minutes, guys. So yeah, this is a warm-up. Keep breathing. I find myself holding my breath a lot, so you'll hear me say, breathe. And it's not because I don't think you can't breathe, it's because I know I can't breathe. <laughs> I was gonna take it outside today, but I thought I would need more weights than I'm going to use. So I really could have, but that's okay. Larry needs a nap. Otherwise, he'd just be on camera the whole time. <laughs> Trying to see what's going on. 30 more seconds, keep it up. Whew. Should start to feel it here. Nice and controlled. Oh, those hands are tight. I've also got spin today, so this is gonna be great. <laughs> it's Tabata Tuesday. So we do a 20 second sprint, followed by a 10 second recovery. Wash, rinse, repeat for 30 minutes. Three, two, and one. Good job, shake it out, grab a drink. Woo, cheers. Hopefully everybody had a great weekend. Uh, we had company over. I got some sun, which is great. Really showing those muscles off now. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds we go. Second set. All right, in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Keep breathing. If at any point you need any modifications during the workout, uh, feel free to comment or uh, shoot me a message or anything like that. I can always recommend it and put it on the comments page for you or by your message. Um, lunges, you can also do side lunges. It just affects the different parts of the quad uh, and the hamstring and the adductors here, as opposed to your traditional hip side of it, like the hip flexors good stuff so keep going keep breathing I might have to turn the fan on here soon Whew. so we're going to aim for three sets of the movements 30 seconds each good job keep it up seconds. You got this, Dan. Keep pushing. Hope you had a great trip to Chicago. Hope everybody noticed your calves. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Rest it out. 30 seconds. I'm going to hit that band. Woo. There we go. Let's oscillate it. There we go. Oh, that's the... Right there. Okay. Ten seconds. Last set. Let's go here in five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it up and back. Squeeze. It definitely is harder with the resistance bands. I probably could have gone with even a lighter resistance band just to create a little bit of tension. I think I mean, it's still a good warm up. Feel it in those glutes. Just not aggravating that hip flexor. Keep going. We're gonna get into the weights right after this. Goblet squats, 30 seconds, three sets. We are gonna change the routine up. Uh, I think it's the first week of July. I've got it scheduled for to coordinate with my other routines. Uh, we're going to go back to basics. Basics. We're going to go summer 101. How about that? 
You know what, I had the most success with this uh, basic plan. There was two, two brew wings, and then we can pepper in the leg day every other week. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a great plan. And it, it switches it up for us. I mean, we've, we've tried different things over the, the last course of the six months here, so. 10 seconds, keep it up. Ooh, it's felt like longer. Maybe it's been two minutes. <laughs> Three, two, and done. Good, good job, guys. Grab a quick drink. Woo. Oh. So we've got some lovely non-copyright, non-licensed music based on Facebook. All right, guys. Let's go heavy. Goblets. Ooh. She's spicy. 10 seconds. We go for 30. Let's get ready. Three, two, and one. Bring it down and up. So goblets, ass to the floor. Whereas your daddies, your ass is going to the wall. Woo! We, we ain't come to play today. Exhale up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Drop that weight safely. Woo. That was a little heavy. It was a challenge. Oh. Dee Dee challenged me last week on Friday at Beach. So I was just going to do snatches with, I don't know, some piss poor 12 pound weight. And she's like, girl, I think that was 20, so you can do at least 20. And I can, I did 25 yesterday, so good on her for pushing me. Three, two, let's go. Come on. Woo, halfway. Ten seconds. Not sure why he's barking. 
five, four, three, two, and done. Put those weights down safely. Whew. Good job, guys. Somebody must have knocked on the door. Probably Amazon. Whew. All right. Ten seconds we go. Round two. Get those weights ready. Catch your breath. Feeling warm. I'm glad we put the fan on. Three, two, let's go. Out and in. Tension on up. Don't come up all that way. We don't want to press those hips forward. Squeeze that booty together. When you get close to that top, keeping that tension on those hands. Good job. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and done. Good job. Drop those weights safely. Watch your toes. No pyramid builders. We've done good so far. Sure, for the last four years, knock on wood, no pyramid builders. A close call a few weeks ago when I was adjusting those weights and those plates fell from that other side. <laughs> All right, three, two, let's go. Last set. Oh, I could do these all day. Make sure you stay hydrated today. Eat your protein. Say your prayers. All COVID's coming. Halfway. Woo. Side lunge is next. Good job, five, four, three, two, last one. Good job, drop those weights safely. All right, we're gonna go to that side lunge next. So holding that weight, goblet style, you're gonna come out and in, out and in. If you need to drop the weight, totally fine. You're still gonna get a good workout hitting those adductors as you come out. So it's Step, lunge, and in. Step, lunge, and in. And then we'll do the other side. Actually, let's see. Step, lunge, in. Step, no, it's too difficult. We'll do each side. <laughs> I'm not too, too coordinated. Let's take one weight. Again, oh, I just screwed up the weight, I think. Goblet style, I'm gonna hold it like this. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, out, lunge, and in. Out, lunge, and in. Out, lunge, and in. Out, lunge, and in. Good job. Keep it up. 10 seconds, we switch sides. Three, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Out, lunge, and in. It's a little bit awkward for me, but we're trying new things. Helps the hip flexor. Doesn't put as much load onto it. Good job. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. One down, two to go. Doing really good for time. Whew. Grab, grab a drink. I was gonna say, catch your breath, grab a drink. I almost just said grab a breath. Y'all know I'm a goof. Oh, I can't talk when I work out. It's an actual scientific thing. Oxygen goes from your brain, see, from your brain to through your blood to your heart because you're working out and just trying to get that oxygen in there, so it takes away from your brain. Whew. Science. Five, four, three, two, out, lunge, and in. Good job. Woo! 
love it. New things. Halfway of this this side, sorry. We switch in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Ooh, there's a sweat. Yes. Good job. Woo! Keep it up. Stay with me. Halfway on the side. You're probably saying, no kidding. Five, four, three, two. Let's get one more in because mama didn't raise no quitter. And done. One more set. Woo! Grab a lean on something. <laughs> My bike. We've got calf raises after this. Just over 10 seconds, last set, coming up. One minute of work here. Grab your weight, three, two, out, lunge, and in. Good job. Keep it up. You should feel this on the insides of those thighs. Keep breathing. You got this. Five, four, three, two. Let's switch sides. Lunge and in. Step, lunge and in. Woo! Keep it up. Yes. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two. Let's get one more. Good job. Woo! Put those legs down safely. Woo! Scrap a rest. Excellent job, everybody. We're gonna go on to those calf raises next. Grab those heavier weights. Options, holding them up to the side like a suitcase, up, two, three, and down. Or you can take your kettlebell, bring it up in front, up, two, three, and down. Just changes the positioning of that weight. You can load up a little bit heavier with the dumbbells. My kettlebell only goes up to about 40. Um, we've got BSS after this, so I'm going to keep my, kettle, my dumbbells where they are, but I'm going to use that kettle for this, three sets, 30 seconds each. We're doing really great for time. We're halfway through, uh, about right on point. So let's go in 10 seconds, three sets, 30 seconds, up, two, three, and down. Ready? Five, four, three, two, shoulders back, chest up, let's go. Up, two, three, and down. So nice and controlled, up, Nice and controlled down. We're not just letting it fall. Exhale up. Good job. Straight stance, you're hitting both the gastrocnemius and also the soleus, the outside muscle that stabilizes a lot. Angle your feet out. You're going to hit the inside of your calf, the bigger gastrocnemius. If you angle your feet in, you're going to hit the outside, the soleus. Three, two, and one. Put that leg down safely. Whew. Usually we save these for the end, but we got some nice glute bridges to finish everything off. 15 seconds. Grab a quick drink, towel if you need, which I don't have down here, which is beautiful. <sighs> All right, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Up, two, three, and down. If you get a cramp, come down, join us when you're ready, or take that load off. Even do it with no weight. You're still going to get a really good, good burn in those calves. Less that load. Good job. 
Shoulders back, chest lifted. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, drop that weight safely. Woo. 30 seconds, last set. And then we get into the dirty stuff. The VSS, these are probably the hardest of all of them. Three minutes of work, a minute and a half of recovery. All right guys, five seconds. Three, two, let's go, last 30. Good job. Glute bridges out for those Bulgarian split squats. You can add a load onto your hips, right over your hip bones, or you can leave it off, up to you. If you do have any hip issues, I don't recommend it, but you always can put a resistance band around your knees, and when you get to the top, kind of pull those apart. It'll focus on squeezing those glutes. Three, two, hold it here, and one, good job. All right, let's see how this will feel. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a whirl. Give it the old Tabasco try, right? All right. Grab your bench, chair, children, animals, whatever you've got. <laughs> Woo! We're getting sweaty today. We're going to do those Bulgarian split squats. We're going to put one leg forward, bend in that knee. Not sure if you can see. I'm going to move this over a little bit here. There we go. Just want to make sure I have enough grip because I am using my, my bike handle just for a bit of support, just to hold if I do need. So we're going to line it up, knee back, or sorry, foot back, bend in that knee, hinging forward so you're nice, long line. So you're going to hit that glute. We're going to come forward, bend that knee. Let's grab that weight. We're going to come down. And then we're going to go up 30 seconds each side. This is going to suck, but it's great. Five, four, three, two, let's get it. Remember, hold something for support if you need. It'll just guide you. My fingertips are just on the handle. Powering up with those quads on that leg that's forward. Leg that's back, you're hitting those hamstrings and those glutes. Five, four, three, two. The last one, let's switch sides. Take that weight off. We've got 15 seconds here. Set it up. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Holding that bike just for support. Chair, handlebar, children. Woo! This one's harder. Over halfway, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop that weight safely, 30 seconds. Woo! This one's spicy. We're trying to grow those quads. Quad season. <laughs> I bought a measuring tape that syncs up with an app that I'm using for my scale. So I'm able to see the changes that way. My weight's going up and my injuries are dropping, so win some, lose some. Three, two, let's go. Good job. Breathe. Keep it up halfway. Three, two, one. 15 seconds. Switch sides. I should have lined it up with the other side of that bench. Five seconds. Let's go in three, two, and one. Take a sec to acclimate. You 
You know, always put your hand on your hip. Stabilize that way. Exhale up. Woo! Six, five, three, two, and one. Two down. Awesome job, you guys. These are super hard, super advanced. I know you guys can do it. You're killing it. If you can, take measurements. Like, it's, it's mind blowing. I remember years ago starting to take my measurements and seeing it come down. For me, even just two years is wild. Inches, lots and lots of inches. The weight may stay like kind of level out, but the inches are what's important. 10 seconds. Let's go in four, three, two. Let's go, last set.
Less load on those hips. Definitely not feeling as much of those flexors without that band. So if you do have any hip issues, don't add that weight. Don't add the band. All right, last set. Let's go in five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, two, three, and down. Up, two, three, and down. Woo! Feeling the sweat. Good job. Exhale up. Keep that tension on. If you're not sure you're doing it right, grab your butt. It should feel like a rock. Ten seconds. You guys got this. Getting those medial glutes as well. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Woo. All right. Let's do a quick stretch. Bring one leg behind you. Other leg out in front. Not sure if you can quite see here. We're going to take this leg that's diagonal. We're going to lean to the opposite side. Keep it a nice diagonal line. So my right leg is back. I'm going to lean back into the left. We're going to stretch out this hip flexor here. Whew. Squeeze that glute. It's going to open that hip flexor, giving a little bit of relief there. Make sure you stretch more. This is just a quick stretch just to get us through. Unfortunately, we didn't have time for core today. I'm so torn up about it. <laughs> oh. Generally, you want to hold your stretches 15, 20 seconds, but we did a lot, a lot of light work today, so let's uh, let's hold it a little longer. All right, guys, let's bring that leg out. Shake it out, other leg back. So my left leg is coming back. I'm gonna lean back into my right, this time keeping that nice diagonal line. And I'm gonna squeeze that glute in, opening up that left hip flexor right there, yep. You'll feel it, it's a nice little release right in the top of that hip, into the groin. Woo. Keep breathing. Stretching out those shoulders while we're back here. Next week we'll do full body. We'll get to doing squats, chest press, rows, snatches, triceps, biceps, and of course, calf raises for you, Dan. <laughs> All right, bring that leg out in front. Let's bring both legs out in front. A nice forward bend stretch here. Nice stretch in that spine. Grab as low as you can your feet, ankles, knees, as low as you can comfortably. Not to the point of pain, just a little bit of tension here. Stretching out those ligaments, those muscles. Keep breathing. Our back did support us a lot today with those deadlifts. All right. We're going to bring one leg in, other leg out, stretching to the one side. Hopefully you can see. Sorry, guys. I should angle my camera the other way. Stretch out to the side. Holding that foot, ankle, leg, as low as you can comfortably. Nice stretch here. Hopefully we're able to get out and enjoy the sun today before it rains tonight. I enjoyed the sun a little too much this weekend, but it was glorious. All right, other side. Bring that one leg out, other leg in, and lean to the opposite side. Nice stretch in through here, this leg that's being stretched, and also into that hip of that leg that's bent in. Great stretch. Keep breathing. All right, let's come down on the floor. Hands overhead, legs out long. Three deep breaths in. And out. One more. Good job. Bring those knees in. Give them a hug. Move those ankles. Flex and point. Your feet, toes, all that good stuff. We're going to drop our legs to the right. Putting that right hand on the outside of that left knee. Left arm coming across. 
Let's look over our left shoulders. Get that nice twist in there. Good job, you guys. Keep breathing. Very important. And bring those knees, square those hips up on the floor. You'll know when you feel your hip bones into that floor there. Drop your legs to the other side, left hand on the outside of that right knee, right arm across this time, looking over our right shoulders, opening that chest, feeling that twist in that spine, nice and gentle. You can always use yoga blocks if you don't want to put your legs right on the floor if you're not able to. It'll just give you that extra little bit of a, a height there. stretch. All right, let's bring it back to center. Coming up, we're going to go into a child's pose, stretching out our arms. Our arms did a little bit of work today, holding those weights, of course. Bring it out in front, stretching out the lats, triceps, shoulders, sitting back on those heels, stretching out those quads. Good job. Keep breathing. From here, let's come up into a downward dog. Head down. And let's gently lift and move those ankles or heels off the floor, rather. Feeling that stretch all in through your calves. Up in the back of those ligaments of your knee. Good job. Nice and slow. Walking the dog here. Good job. And let's walk those hands up to our feet, coming into a full forward bend. Whew. Head down. Grab your ankles, the floor, around your calves as low as you can comfortably. And let's walk our hands up our legs here, coming up one vertebrae at a time. Whew. Let's roll it back. Four, three, two, and let's go forward. Oh. And left arm coming across. Keep breathing. Move those hands, those wrists, the fingers rather. And let's switch sides. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much again for joining me. I hope you guys had a great workout for leg day. Uh, remember, make modifications where you need. If you need any suggestions, add them in the comments and I'll be able to reply. Uh, but yeah, if not, I will see you guys next week, Monday at my combustion. Uh, we'll do probably a full body circuit there. Uh, and then uh, Friday, I'm at beach the following Friday. So hopefully I'll see you guys around. Have a good day. Bye.